Hello everyone, my name is Neon, one half of that gaming couple, and this is episode 39! Hooray! So in the last episode, we were working on this nether ward farm in the back, and at the end of that episode, I thought I was done with everything, but I completely overlooked that I don't really have a nice front lawn area yet, and I need to light up the edges here because mobs keep spawning there. So yeah, that's one of the things I want to work on in this episode. And the other one that I really want to work on is in the back there, the sheep farm. It needs to be finished. It's, I have too many open projects basically, and I don't like that. So first I'm going to work on that, and then I'm probably going to work on the sheep farm. Let's get cracking. So I added a little front yard to this uh, netherward factory. Uh, I also added some netherward blocks and some netherward in soul sand and some netherrack and quartz blocks just to fill up the yard like it's waiting there to be processed or something i don't know or be picked up and added little two little trees which are acacia trees and i have to say i really like the acacia leaves in this biome i think it's an ocean biome a beach biome i'm looking on the left hand side uh but yeah i guess right now i'm still standing on the beach I think that's just the ocean uh, region, biome. Um, I'm also thinking about adding a little bit of bushes on the sides here and the back. Uh, because just to break up the monotonous wall side here. I think that would look pretty nice. Like it's a little bit overgrown because nobody comes there. Uh, everything is lit up by the way right now. So that looks pretty nice as well i think i again use the sea lanterns under the walls to light up the place a little bit and as you can see right there there's a sea lantern there under the wall next to a stairs uh, just to light up that area to not have any mobs be able to spawn there and i think i also did it maybe you can see it from this side yeah i had some sea lanterns under or sea lanterns uh normal glowstone under the nether Another rack next to a path block and that also lights up the area nicely without showing too much of the light because I didn't like to have that around so uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. I also want to change this top block to a, a normal full acacia park block. I'm not sure what they're called. Because right now there's this orange part here and I don't think that looks too nice. I think if it's just a normal uh, full park block that will look a little bit nicer. Uh, and I also been experimenting a little bit with adding a extra trim run, trim rim, yeah, trim rim, trim rim. A little rim uh, on the edge here. So here I used... Um, that again at the end site and stone and might also just add cobblestone blocks as well so basically to mirror this pathway here uh, i also tried granite but yeah i didn't like the look so much i think just the normal grave at acacia this is just a nice effect and i still need to add pillars so that this whole building isn't just floating in midair being supported by just this small bar right here uh, so that's what I'm gonna do right now, I think. Yeah. I definitely like the acacia leaves here. It's so nice looking on this ocean biome. Much better than in the savannah. And with these last granite blocks, the pillars are done as well. And basically the whole project is done now, which is awesome. Yeah, there's a pillar going straight to that boat over there. Shipwreck. Uh, it's fine. So if we go up and have a quick look, perfect. Police and down. This whole project is now done. I'm so happy that it's done. Ah, so the outside is done. The inside is done, uh, except for some gold that I need to finish the outside or the last couple of rows and maybe add an extra layer there as well. But for now, I don't need so much nether warts anymore. So maybe when I start a potion uh, brewing station, I might need it. But for now, it's fine. So that actually means that we can go to the wolf farm. 
And if you fly over there, this is my favorite way to fly over there, by the way, underneath the bridges. So I actually already prepared all the different chests that I need to build different towers. So these eight towers, all nicely color coordinated. So everything is in there again. And all I need to do is start building it. So let's sleep and get started. Uh, I just remembered something. Why I didn't want to continue with this project over here. Because these towers, they're kind of extending, of course, all the way until here. So I basically need to destroy this whole big section and move it up one. Just to start building this. Which is why I wasn't really continuing on with this project, actually. <laughs> uh all right, let's destroy this bridge and move it one element over. So I moved the bridge elements one over. So now I have more than enough space for the automatic wool farm. Uh, yeah, I put this in the time lapse and had a really nice time lapse idea in mind, but sadly the replay mod crashed when I tried to close it down and the replay save uh, wasn't there basically. So. That was one and a half hours of work. Uh, but yeah, I will guess I'll continue with this one. Maybe I'll try the replay mod again after updating it to the latest version. And well, wish me luck. So I finished placing all the bottom parts of the towers, uh, except of course for the wool because I need to get the wool first. And for that of course I need a lot of sheep. And there's one over here, there's one over there, and there's one there, right there I think if I remember correctly. There it is, a naked sheep over there. And yeah I think other ones ran off as well. Uh, I had them all hooked up to this pole here but for whatever reason they broke free so now I need to gather them all together put them in the pen breed them up because I don't have enough to fill all the spots here and well oh hey thank you for walking into the field there uh, while we breed up those uh, sheep I will do some converting of the mushroom island with netherrack right sheep Cheap. But first, let's get them all in there.
do baby sheep need to eat grass to grow up? Because this nice green field that I made for them, it's completely empty. They ate all the grass. They apparently were very, very hungry. Let's hope they can still grow up without grass. <laughs> can you breed, by the way? Are you up for breeding? Yes, perfect. Let's breed those guys up. I think that's all of them. Good. Let's check out if they uh, need grass. It turns out that baby sheep do not need grass to grow up. And as you can see, the pen are empty because I moved them, or at least the ones that I had, into their little pens. I just need basically two. Well, that's four. It's a bad example. I just need two in one pen and then I can just breed them up in there until eight or nine, I think I had in there. Uh, but I first need to dye them, so I'm gonna do that first. However, uh, while I was building this up, I was like, okay, I made this weird little structure to connect the redstone dust or the redstone signal from one to the other. But I never really liked that part. Uh, so I actually recently come up with a new idea of what I could do. It would mean removing these little antenna thingies, which is, I think is fine. I just need to put some light somewhere else or just some carpet upstairs, upstairs, on top. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not going to tell you yet because I first want to see if it works in a little redstone testing world. But if it does work, then it will be really funny to see it become activated. Uh, it uses string instead of a redstone signal to get these little pods to uh, start harvesting wool. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say more. <laughs> uh, okay, let's tie all these sheep and build up the rest of these towers. And then let's see if we can figure out something to activate all these. I so hope it works, it would be so funny. So I finished adding all the tops of the towers. They're called roofs. Yes, roofs. <laughs> so I've been working on getting the idea that I had in my head to activate all the towers uh, worked out and it took much, much more time than I uh, expected. Like much more time. Um. Yeah, especially the it was just a really tight space because I needed to figure out something that I could put in here or in that area over there. It ends up being placed in this area here because otherwise I'm again too close to the tower here, sadly. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the design that I came up with in the end. Uh, so I'm first going to place, well, I guess part of it, a little redstone and then show you what I came up with. I'm really excited to build this though. It, it's, it's so much fun to see. And hopefully everything works out properly. So there will be one structure here and another structure there where all the uh, shulker boxes are uh, located right now. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to build it off. I think dark oak wood. I think I have some left here in this chest here. No, this chest here. No, this chest here. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a, lot, a lot of chests that I have now right here. A lot of shulker boxes. But I have enough, so that's good. I also need some sticky pistons, some redstone, obviously, some observers, string. Well, more than that, actually. Uh, yeah, it, it will take some time, I think. <laughs> so let's first build... I fell down. Let's first try and build uh, the one over here. And then hopefully I will still have time to do this one here. Otherwise, it will be in the next episode. Can you already tell what this is going to be? I think it's starting to shape up pretty nicely. Uh, so we've got these trip wire hooks there. And I gotta add some water here. Some water there, there, and over there. And yeah, it's really shaping up to look really nice, I think. If you can tell what it is. Let me know in comments below if you know what it is. Uh, it would be nice to see if, if people already can see just from the start what it's going to be. Uh, I still need to do a lot of building though, because yeah, I need to add some packed ice below and I need to place some sticky pistons with slime blocks as well. Uh, I actually just went on a little slime 
all hunting trip. And I got a stack plus eight right out of there. Uh, I might need to build a slime farm, a proper slime farm, farm because I just have got a simple slime chunk with where the slimes can spawn on, but it's not really efficient so far. Um, but yeah, um, I guess I'll just continue building. I just need to figure out how to build it. Well, I know how to build it technically, but what the best way to start is, I guess, I guess start here and then there, build the middle part and then yeah, build the last part. Maybe this is a better view to tell what it is. Don't mind the string. It's hooked up there. All right, so the first segment, or at least the front segment of the build, I'm still not telling you what it's going to be in the end. Um, is finished. I just need to place some water down here. Like so. Wait. Going down. I thought I... Oh boy. As I was saying. The... Building is basically done. I just need to put some string right here. I need to place more water. Can the water go out? No. Good. That's blocked up. Water. Ice. Let's break that. Oh, that was one too many. Let's break that. Good. I can place a piece of string here and I just need a assistant. One moment. Now we have an assistant. Thank you, Whoopi, for being here as an assistant. All I need to do is break the scaffolding and we can see the system work. Are you ready, honey? Good. And there she goes. Down the train. And did this one activate? Oh, there. No, scissors. scissors. Shears in there. Scissors. Shears. Some of them. The other side. And... Activate. And there it works perfectly. Well, it's maybe a bit short. But that's why Whoopi is going around in circles. And as soon as I put shears in there as well, then whoop, there goes the red wolf. Thank you, honey, for being my assistant. So that's basically what I'm going to do on each and all sides if I can get out of here without falling in the water. So yeah, that's basically the design I had in my head. So basically I have an armor stand that moves around. Of course, there will not be four poopies on this ship. I said it, it's a ship. It will be a ship. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, there will be one going this way, one going that way. And will one guy be walking, or girl, you never know, walking on the back end there. This will be the front of the ship. So yeah, I just need to start finishing up. So if you want to see the redstone, I'll quickly jump down, which you saw already a little bit. So basically what happens is the armor stand falls down the hole right here. It lands on this pressure plate, which activates this little uh, slime block piston, which also has a observer attached, which sends a signal, which then... Um, well, activates that piston very briefly so that the block gets dispensed upwards. If we walk around here, <laughs> our, okay, just no, uh, that's not possible, of course. Basically, there's more stuff behind there. I wish I could show you. Not possible. I have to say that I absolutely love the little armor stand moving around using the water streams and activating the sheep shearing farms, the wool farms. I think it looks absolutely great. Um, but I actually ran out of time for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed. And if you do, please do leave a like. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this system. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.